Hi, Julie here with Absolute Holdings Group, AHG Marketing. Wanted to pop in for just a few minutes. Um, over the past couple days, we have had several new clients come to us and several business acquaintances mention a couple different things that we wanted, um, we were talking internally, and it just wasn't sitting well with us. And we wanted to come in and just offer some clarity on a couple things that um, with regard to social media management. So for anyone who's either in the social media management industry or has worked with social media managers or has spent any time on social media, you will know that so much of just social media management in general is personal preference. Um, some people prefer certain types of posts, certain phrasing, all of that, totally fine. Anything that's a personal preference, that is exactly that personal preference. We've been hearing several stories about people being told patently wrong information that could get them in legal trouble. So I wanted to pop in and whether you use us for your social media management or you don't, please take these to heart. Um, if you have a social media manager, ask them just to make sure that, especially the things that could get you in legal trouble, that you are doing the right way. So, and I don't mean to scare you. So first and foremost, we've had several people tell us that they are being told it is okay to go to Google Images to pull images to use for your social media content. No, do not do this. Again, I'm going to repeat that for the people in the back. Do not use Google Images for your social media images. If your social media manager is doing this, tell them to stop. Google Images pulls from a lot of websites, including ones that you may not have the licensing for, that they have a very big legal team that will come and chase you down and not only send you cease and desist letters, but they will also come after you for compensation. So um, if your social media management team, um, your social media manager, your marketing department, however that works, if they cannot provide clear provenance of where those images came from, please don't use them. There obviously they can, you know, there are times that they could be used for quote unquote editorial purposes. That being said, that's still a very sticky wicket because if your blog or your website is driving you income, it gets into a really gray zone as to is it editorial or is it commercial? Um, so we always encourage our clients err on the side of caution. So, um, and there are too many free stock photography sites that can fit your needs. There are some amazingly reasonable priced stock photography sites as well. So long story short, Google Photos is not okay. Do not, do not, do not use that to source your social media images. Next, um, there has, we've had several of our customers coming to us very upset that their former social media management team was telling them they had to do lives, not should do, had to do lives. Please don't ever feel that you have to do a live. If your social media team is telling you you have to do it, the only thing you have to do is walk to the door. Um, lives are fantastic. They drive engagement. They drive your, your followers. Yes, the stats love, the algorithm loves Facebook lives. Don't feel like you have to do it because not everybody likes to be in front of the camera. I personally don't love to be in front of the camera. I'm only here today because I kept hearing these things and my team was telling me, Julie, you have to help people. This is unacceptable that they're being told that they have to do these things. So if you're not comfortable being in front of the camera, don't. Not a problem. Um, if you don't love um, doing lives or if you're like me who don't like doing your hair and makeup every day, sorry. Um, do One of the best video guys I know, and I can give y'all recommendations if you need them, um, told me, why don't, if you don't love doing it every day, let's just, we'll batch it and just you do your videos for six months. And that way you're not feeling under the gun. So, and again, we tell our clients that all the time to batch your work, but we just don't do it. Now also, that being said, lives don't work for every industry. If you work in an industry that has say HIPAA protections, please, please, if you're going to do a live, 
you know, make sure that there's no confidential information that could be released if you work in it. So again, every, everything that is being told that you have to do something, please bear that with a grain of salt because if you're not comfortable doing it or if you're in an industry that it could get you in legal trouble, don't do it. Um, if you work for a nonprofit and you're at an event and you need, you want to do some lives to help drive um, participation, I would recommend, um, and one of my friends who does a ton of social media work with nonprofits, she's amazing, um, made a fantastic suggestion, cordon off a small area of the event, put up signs, and they can literally be handwritten that you're going to go live at a certain time, and that way people can choose if they want to be in the background or not, that they, if they're walking by or whatnot, and that way also you are not getting people who maybe don't want to be in the lot. So don't feel like you have to do any of these things. And if a social media manager or a marketing agency tells you you have to do them, please don't feel pressure because uh, some of the most brilliant people I know hate getting in front of a camera and it gives, they just, it causes such nervousness and that comes through. So don't feel like you have to. Um, one of our new clients came to us they were on all the platforms and they had been told by their previous marketing team that they needed to be on all the platforms. Well, they don't have to be on all the platforms. Um, we recommend to our clients, yes, there's usually more than one platform of social media for social media. That's going to be very beneficial for you. Um, but if you do not have the bandwidth to do all the platforms, tear them out. Take your top tier one that all that your customers are on, that your target audience is on. That is your top tier priority. And if you only have the bandwidth to do, to do one, then only do one, but do it really well. And as you have the more bandwidth, take on your second tier one, the one that your next tier of target audience is going to be on. But again, don't feel like you have to do all of them because I think that, that that then puts a lot of pressure on people. And especially if you're doing social media management in-house, you don't have all the time in the world. Your time is very limited. Did you know that most business owners, spend, they admit that they spend up to 10 hours a week on social media management? 10 hours. That's 40 hours a month. That's a whole work week every month. What kind of stuff could you do? Like, what could you be doing in your business if you weren't spending those 10 hours? So again, um, I'm sure social media managers hating me for saying this, but in good conscience, I can't not say it. You don't have to do all the platforms and pick the one. If you can only do one, do one really well. Pick one that your target audience is going to be on and hit it out of the ballpark and then grow your platforms from there. Okay. Don't feel pressure to do a gajillion. The next thing that we have, one of our um, customers that we just signed them yesterday mentioned to us is they were being told that they needed to do 30 posts a week on Facebook. 30. No, you don't. No, you don't. It is far better to put out quality content less frequently than to put out a ton of content all the time. Now, I'm not saying post once a week, I'm not saying that, but I am saying be intentional. Don't feel that you have to do all the posts. You have a business to run. You don't have time to be doing all the posts. Be intentional. If you need help, ask for help, but be intentional and don't feel like you have to do 30 posts a week on one platform. Twitter's a little bit different, but that's a different conversation for a different time. Um, so again, kind of just to close this out, do not use Google for your image sourcing. And if your social media management team, your marketing department, if you cannot provide clear provenance of where those images came from, don't use them. Um, there are, too, again, too many good stock photography sites that are free. Um, it amazes me. I came up in a time uh, in the marketing industry when you only had a couple options and they were super expensive. Um, we still carry several of those options because they do have very specific photography for some of our clients who need very targeted photography. But 
it's amazing now the high caliber of photography that is available for free on stock photography on these stock photography sites um and if you are curious and you need any recommendations comment below and i will happily get you our resource sheet of free uh stock photography sites uh everything from lifestyle to travel to food to industrial to business to business business to consumer i mean it's crazy what's available for free now i know um facebook lives Insta you know instagram lot any, any lives don't feel like you have to do it don't feel like you have to get in front of a camera does it help the algorithm absolutely but helping the algorithm is only so good as it's not putting you in a position that is stressing you out or causing you legal issues. Um, don't think you have to be on all the platforms. Pick one or two and do them really well. Execute, execute, execute. Okay. Third, don't fill it. Fourth, I need coffee. Fourth, make sure that you're not trying to do that. You're not spamming your audience. Um, there's so much noise out there already. Give your audience value and not spam. So if you have any questions, comment below, send us a message. I would love to hear from you. Um, if you've heard any other advice that you have questions on, we would, we would love to help you um, it, for free. Just give us a call, send us a message because there's a lot of misinformation out there that could get your organization in trouble if you're not doing it right. Um, and I'm not trying to scare you, but I just want you to have a successful relationship with social media. All right. Thank you very much.